uh, in this video we are going to discuss uh, rip and uh, actually it's uh, uh, we are going to discuss dynamic routing okay dynamic routing uh, I'm going to write it better we are going to discuss dynamic routing and dynamic routing and we are going to um, do uh, some uh, we are going to use rip version 2 that is basically for dynamic uh, dynamic routing in order and uh, <coughs> we are also going to use classless addressing <coughs> i'm going to uh, um, uh, uh, show it by example uh, that how dynamic routing will work in the last example we might have seen that you might have seen that if we have uh, if we have a router if we have more than two routers connected to each other like for example this one in this case uh, we might need uh, uh, more than one vic 2t card in one router okay so you can place more than one to one or two vic 2t cards here okay so you can connect more than two routers so now this router have now this router have six serial ports because i have placed two vic 2 t card three vic 2 t cards and each vic 2 t card have two ports okay so uh, considering a small network i'm not going for the big one uh, let's consider here I'm going to place a VIC 2T card here. And uh, we're going to do a connection here. What I have to do that I have to do, I have to use classless addressing. Okay. Classless addressing. And uh, uh, IP will be 192.168.1.1 slash 26. Okay. And uh, uh, we will calculate the subnet mask of it. And uh, it's, the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.192. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, in order to calculate the subnet mask, you might have to, um, you might need to see my previous video. So, go through them in order to uh, in order to know how we have calculated this and uh, after that i will apply i will apply rip version 2 <coughs> okay i think so uh, it will be better if i place okay let's do it by example I'm just uh, connecting two networks, giving them IPs. The fast the new zero slash zero. This port I'm going to give one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one, and the subnet mask will be. to 192 okay so it means that my uh, when my subnet mask is 192 it means that uh, i am doing two bit subnetting and i might need a i need to i need to write here the ip address of the same network that will be 192.168.1.2 and the subnet mask will be the 192.168.1.1 okay this subnet mask will start from here its gateway would be the same as i have given there 192.168.1.1 as i have discussed in the previous video you can see them as well okay so this will be the ip address of this one let's go through this as well One nine two dot one six eight dot one dot dot one dot. Okay, where this network will.